Hello, this is Wes Gill from StorageCraft. In this video, I'll show a high-level walkthrough of StorageCraft File Backup and Recovery with Backup Analyzer, FBR for short. FBR is a direct-to-cloud file-based backup and restore product from Microsoft Windows computers. I'll begin with the Web Management Portal. On the home screen of the FBR portal, there's a table with a list of accounts and the backup status of each account. In this example, account Wesley Gill Misk has 8 computers total, but only 7 have a backup status of OK. Any account having at least one computer that is not OK is highlighted red. A computer's backup status is determined by two things. First, did the last complete backup happen within an expected threshold? For example, this computer had a complete backup just over three days ago. The threshold setting is seven days, so the backup status is OK. If the value is changed to three days, it is no longer OK. The second item determining backup status is monitored item. A monitored item is a specific file or folder you want to monitor for expected backup activity. For example, this computer has a monitored item for a QuickBooks file that is expected to back up at least every 20 days. Next, I'll show how the installation and restore process works on a Windows computer. Download the software from the web portal and go through the installation step. When prompted, enter your name and password. You can then choose to add a new account or use an existing account. We'll choose an existing account. Next, you can choose to add this computer for backup or connect it to an existing backup. In this case, we are reinstalling the software to do a restore of an existing computer. We're now ready to restore. Simply go to Windows Explorer and click on StorageCraft File Backup and Recovery to navigate your backup. Once you find a file to restore, simply right-click and choose Restore. If you need a previous revision of a file, click into the file and select the revision you need. You can also restore an entire folder in the same manner. To see the progress of a restore, click on the Restore tab on the Status Viewer. Files can also be restored through the web portal. Navigate to the computer and click to download files. Next, I'll briefly cover backup configuration. All of the backup configurations can be viewed and modified in the web portal, and the computers will download changes automatically. Every computer uses a standard configuration template to start, and you can make overrides on a per-computer basis if needed. What backs up is determined by a set of backup and exclusion rules. For example, an extension rule is a rule that matches file's name with a particular extension. A directory path rule is a rule that will match files located in a specific directory path. For example, this rule will match any file having a parent directory at any level named Chrome. You can even make very complex rules, such as this one, that will only back up JPEGs located on any user's desktop that are less than 3 megabytes in size. For your convenience, StorageCraft provides you a standard configuration containing many common rules what to include and exclude from backup as a starting point. You can use as much or as little as you need. Finally, the Backup Analyzer is a tool to help you visualize and understand the data on a computer and see the effective configuration. In this example, this computer has 50,933 files, 53.5 gigabytes of data marked for backup. To determine what directories are contributing most, I can use this tree map view. I can also answer questions such as, which file was backed up most recently? How large is the largest file backed up? You can also use Backup Analyzer to further customize a computer's configuration and easily discover if there are any important files that need to be included for backup. The Suggested and Unaddressed Files view will show any files that do not match any backup or exclusion rule. If any unaddressed file is of significant size and modified recently, it will be suggested for backup. This will help you easily find important user data files missed by the standard configuration, such as an important accounting file or database file. 
If you see a file that needs to be added for backup, you can easily add a backup rule to the configuration right in Backup Analyzer. This concludes the high-level walkthrough of StorageCraft file backup and recovery with Backup Analyzer. Again, Wes Gill from StorageCraft, thank you for watching.